Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about Spark 4.0 version, which is recently introduced. We are going to see all the new features in this playlist. So stay tuned and keep watching. In today's example, we are going to see user defined table function, which is recently introduced in Spark 4 expansion. We are going to see in the detailed manner. For that, I'm going to import all the necessary libraries, calendar and Spark session and UDTF lit and the call function this is all i'm trying to import it right now next i'm going to create a spark variable inside spark variable i'm using remote option this remote option i'm trying to connect with the spark connect using client api to make interface with them now we will see one udtf function so udt will be written with a year and month and end date value here i just declare some class module so this is nothing but i'm going to find end of the day for each month on the particular year this is i'm going to get it i'm pausing year as an input argument based on that entire 12 months what is the end of the day that information i can extract from using this udtf table for the example i'm using month end and 2024 year as an input i'm just pausing it let's see the output for detailed understanding so you can see the output 2024 and month 1 to 12 and end of the day so this is 2024 is a leap year i am getting 29 days others as usual i can get it so now this is actual one data frame we just extracted and another one data frame i am going to create this is name salary and month so name as actually abc values i just passed out daily salary how much they are getting the day by salary that information and month some pending month they have so in this pending month how many days they have to calculate and provide as a salary this information so i'm just pausing as an input argument to see the output for this data frame so you can see name daily salary some values and month also the pending month information i just passed out so based on the previous df month eod data frame i'm going to join with them based on the month value and extract the end of the day how many days is available that information i'm going to extract and join with this data frame and see the output so let's i'm going to join the table right now data frame dot join df month in based on the month value i'm doing in a join right now so we'll see the output So here I'm getting month name, daily salary, year and end date. So how many date they have that last day? That information I can get from here. So based on this above join output, I'm going to calculate the total salary on the each month of those who all have the pending value that I'm trying to calculate every year. So let's see the final salary output. Okay, I can get some salary values as a total salary here. So this is the way we can use UDTF function at runtime. If suppose I'm not using the UDTF, then I have to make everything in the runtime environment creation using some functions on module. Then I only I can utilize it. So UDTF is very useful to us to make the entire data frame in a simple manner and we can implement with our data frame output. So that's it for the today video. Please provide your valuable feedbacks and comments. Thank you.